I got a PR package. Look. It's a little stamp. That says Maple Hollow. And then Sparkle Bats. That's the publishing um, duo of K.L. Morrison and A.K. Mulford. Sparkle Bats. Holographic. Very nice. And Pumpkin Spice. Let's open this. Okay, so happy PR mail. We're so excited to present you with our first collaborative PR box. Pumpkin Spice and Poltergeist is a fun, cozy, fall sapphic romance with tons of colorful characters, a little mystery, and most of all, love. Ali K. Mulford and K.L. Morrison have been friends and partners for years. We hope you enjoy your PR box. It's cute already. Look at that. Yeah. It's a mug. It's a mug. I've been mugged. I've been mugged in a good way. The only mugging I want and the only way that I want to get mugged. In my pumpkin spice era. Oh, that's a little pa like flannel pattern in there. I like that it's on both sides. Happy Halloween. It's like for pens. Either that or for like cash. Maybe it's makeup. I don't know. Either way, multi use. What's this? Headband? You know, I'm going to start using this somehow in my twisted scenes for something. Or I'm just going to pretend like I'm the karate kid. Look, it actually gets the hair out of the way. I should do this more often whenever my hair gets long. Okay, we're continuing. Let's, ooh, there's the book. It looks so pretty. What is that? It's an envelope. Oh, I love this. This is so pretty. Pumpkin spice and poltergeist. Oh. I love it. Um, pumpkin spice and filter guys. And look at them. That's before they fall in love. <laughs> She's small. She's small. No, very thick. I love this book. This was definitely a 4.5 out of 5. I enjoyed this very much. Oh, look has a little book plate. I enjoyed this book so much. Um, it's very much fall, cozy, spooky vibes. If you loved Halloween Town and you want an adult version of Halloween Town, this is definitely the book for you. If you want a sapphic adult version of Halloween Town mixed with a little bit of like the invisible, I would I would definitely pick this one up. And it's short. It's a really quick read. They really don't hold their punches in this book. They're very quick. Look at that. That is beautiful. They're very quick with how they write. And they're very to the point. Like no bullshit. Like here's a story. Here's, here's everything you need to know. Here are all the characters. This is the city. I did definitely want more world building, but that does not take away from the plot of this book. It's a rom-com with a little bit of red rum mystery. I do see myself seeing this as a series. I feel like they can explore a few of the side characters. They can really delve into a lot of like the creatures and the monsters. And they can go more into the lore of this town and make it a little bit more fleshed out. And I would love that. You know, I if you want to add a little bit of info dumping in here, I, I would be okay with that. If you guys want to add a few novellas, if you guys want to add, I don't know how much, like maybe 500 more pages as a bonus story. I would very much enjoy that because I love this world and I love the writing. I think this is a really good duo. I've read all of A.K. Mulford's Brickle Island Zoo books. 
and I would definitely recommend those for whenever you just want a very cute rom-com. But if you want something for Halloween time, this one. Pick this one up. Other than that, have a good day, guys. I'm excited that I got picked for this. And take care.